Came back and your ass is getting a little bigger. Girl, for that little nigga. Girl, for that little nigga. Cause you don't deserve that. Girl, you don't deserve that. Girl, you don't. Welcome back to my channel, Goopy Squad. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to be, according to the title, a story time of how I lost my wisdom. So, let's get right into it. I am. 19 years old why am I acting like I don't know my age I am 19 years old and um during freshman year second semester I like had this pain um on my left left side of my face and I was just like annoyed because I already I, I know I have all four of my wisdom teeth all four and I'm not fortunate enough to be able to keep them because my mouth is not that big to be able to have them all. And so they are like, like broken out of my, well, they're not coming out, but they're like so far on my freaking jaw, like my cheeks and stuff. And so, um, I called, my mom tells me about this dental clinic that is free for people who stay in Atlanta and so I call them because they have certain times to just call and it's like for new patients you call every Monday well not every like if you're trying to get um to be a new patient um to call you have to do call Monday morning they start at 9 a.m and by 9 15 it's like they already have enough patients for that monday and then they have to then you try again next monday so it's only on mondays and you have to call directly 9 a.m and that's what i did and i was just like letting them know excuse me that i really want my wisdom teeth taken out because it was giving me so much pain to the point where like it was so hard for me to eat and now that happened for like a whole two weeks it was just so much pain and I usually am not a person who take meds. Like if I'm on here, I don't really take meds. I just go through the little cramps or whatever. And so that tooth pain, it was just annoying because it was so hard for me to even open my mouth. And so I had to take medication so it would just calm down a bit so I wouldn't feel so much pain until like they do it. And so they were like, um, I had to provide paperwork and then I'm like waiting a whole while and then finally summer the towards the end of summer freaking going to school I'm at school right now I haven't started classes yet but I'm in school and literally on my friend's dad birthday Wednesday August 7 2019 they were um they were like Basically, I had my appointment, but they called, and at first, they kept trying to put me on to get um, cavities, but, like, fillings, but I don't have any cavities. Like, I had got my molars filled or whatever. Like, the people told me, like, the dentist that I went before was, like, they told me twice that I don't have any cavities and that they filled my molars to prevent me from having cavities. So, I don't know. Why they kept putting me on the list for fillings when I didn't need them. I was like, no, put me on extraction. I need to get the wisdom teeth out. Like, why wouldn't that come first rather than trying to fill cavities? Like, no. Those are can those are impacting my rest of my teeth. And like my teeth are so sensitive that it's crazy. Like and then have my wisdom teeth, it was just not working out for me because every time like something would happen or my teeth wanna be extra sensitive, it will hurt. And it'd be like a sharp pain and it'll last for a while but i haven't experienced it yet now that my wisdom teeth that, well two out of four of my wisdom teeth been taken out the um lady when i went i went in for my appointment it was like 1 30. um i went in and then 
basically she there's like three people in it and then four including me and they looked at my x-rays and she saw like I need them all taken out like there's no need for me to have them because I they're gonna hurt impact my other teeth and I'm I don't need them I mean go on out done and so my bottom she was like they're like they didn't go straight they grew at an angle and I thought my top did that but no it was my bottom ones and so she was like explaining how um when they do extractions like when she does extractions she was like we're not gonna take out all four at one time because we don't want you hurting like your whole mouth just hurting so she was like we just do one side at a time so she ended up doing my left side because this side was hurting the most and i was just like yeah i want my left side done like i need that out now because it impacted me more because my bottom on my right is not fully grown out of my gums as my left one was so um it was the doctor uh an assistant and then a person who probably was like on an internship there just viewing observing whatever um uh, and so um they were just trying to make sure i was comfortable and everything she asked me did i work and i was like yeah i work she asked me did i go to school but no i didn't go to school at the time it was like not yet and so i told her i had work the next day and she was just like okay and so um the assistant she gave me some numbing gel on my teeth she was like just want to make sure it's good so you don't feel this much and it was like nasty she said people would say it tastes like bubble gum like at first yeah it has like a little taste of bubble gum but after that it's disgusting like ew <laughs> like no um and so she um the doctor gave me she was telling me like they numb on both sides of the tooth to the nerves so when they're doing the extraction i do not feel anything oh my gosh do not listen to that little pinch it ain't no little pinch it is major like oh my gosh so the numb nigga she did it and like you can actually feel it going in like no <laughs> but i went through it she gave me also um it's like i forgot what they called it a block but i forgot what it was called and it was like i just um bit down on it on my um my right side while she was doing the extraction so then I won't be so tired trying to hold my jaw open or whatever. But um yeah, and so she did it on both sides and then both sides again and then she waited five minutes to let it make sure it, like it's through the system, like I wouldn't feel anything. So then she tested me and no, so then she was just like, Okay, I'm gonna test to make sure you're numb and ready to go and like um, she was just saying how I would feel numb, like if my, like, I don't feel the inside of my face and like my tongue would start feeling weird, which it did, like, it was like, what the, I kept feeling weird from different sides, I, like at first I didn't really notice it until she was telling me and then, you know, I just kept, <laughs> it was my tongue, like, yeah, I feel a difference, like, you yeah. know, and so she, she was like, I'm about to make sure you're really numb before we do it because I don't, when you feel anything, the only thing you should feel is just pressure. And it's not like painful pressure, it's just like feel like somebody's trying to take the tooth out. But you don't feel it actually hurting, like hurting pain or anything. Just feel pressure. And um, so she tested it again and I kind of felt it and so she ended up putting her number knee up again and it hurts so bad. Like the first time but it didn't hurt as much as the first time because it was uh, kind of numb but it's still stung like oh my gosh uh -uh. <laughs> like i was okay i was doing fine like a little tear came out of me but i was like bawling crying but i'm not gonna lie it is painful but i guess my pain tolerance is kind of okay like moderate i guess i'm not too like nervous with pain or anything i kind of get used to it, try to keep my body relaxed because i know if i'm tense it's gonna be worse 
So, I just try to keep myself calm with things like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, and so after that, she just went it. Oh, before, she was telling me since my bottom one, it came at an angle. She was like, we might just have to cut it in half and take it out that way. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> that serious. And so, she, but after she, the fact, she was like, when she, because she did the top one first and it easily just popped out. Whatever, it's simple. And then she asked me, did I want to see my tooth in the process? But I was just still like, mm. I couldn't really talk because I was numb, first of all. And then, two, it just, I, I'm not trying to focus on getting my room sick at all. I was just, just trying to be relaxed. But then she did the bottom one, and it's like, you felt pressure, so much pressure, because, um, it is like so close to my gum, like far in the back. Like it's not needed to be there. It's like take, trying to take up space that's not there for it. So I just felt it. She just was like really trying to get it. And then she finally got it out and she did not have to cut it, which was great because that makes the process even better. And so that's really my experience, like during the process of getting my wisdom teeth taken out. Um, and so, um, after they're like, um, I have to do salt water rinses, but you can't do that the day of when you get them taken out. You have to wait the next day, like 24 hours. I waited a whole 24 hours. I'm not, I, like, I literally did not do it until like 2 o'clock because it's like I came in at 1 30, but the setup and everything, so I just did it at like 1 40. The next day um, in all Japan and so she was like and you can do it um, water rinses are, will be perfect for you and to um what's it call it do it after every meal to make sure it's just clean and you can't drink with straws because that sucking when you out of a straw or whatever it can affect your blood clot from forming and you want it because it's trying to cover up basically your being having when your tooth was there like whatever rather than getting a dry socket which causes further problems so i was just like i'm not trying to get that because i'm not trying to be big and for something and it might be painful nope nope so i listened to the instructions and then i did not and i was not allowed to eat any solid foods for a whole week I'm like, dang, I gotta be on a liquid diet now. Goodness gracious, I can't have no Popeyes, no Chick fil A, no chicken in general. Like, I like chicken. Get some text me chicken too. Like, can't have none of that. And I was so mad because, like, I stopped eating oatmeal because oatmeal was just so nice to me because we we'll eat it and, you know, fruits and cream one or like the apple and cinnamon ones. And so, I just really didn't like eating oatmeal anymore. And um, I was so mad because I had to buy me some because that's the only thing I could really eat that will try to fill me up rather than just drink, eating soup because soup was not it. Mm -mm. I don't like chicken noodle soup and I had to eat that twice. But, um, yeah, and then, so, do it all, like... I went to work the next day and I was perfectly fine. Like they gave me a gauze when I first left. Um, and then they were just like, um, to change it up when you need to, you just bite down really hard on like the area for like 30 minutes. Just make sure you're not oh, accept, like bleeding too much. And yeah, and so they did, she did give me prescriptions for ibuprofen and then um, hydrocodone and I went to Publix and got both of them that same day and paid like less than $30 I think it was like 26 um, for both and I still have it I still have them like more like leftovers I didn't like take them every day but for the first like two days I took them but then no first I'm gonna say first four days I took them but then after that, like, I was fine um, with everything. But, 
yeah that is literally how i lost my wisdom half of my wisdom because i lose full because these two are still in just waiting for them to call and be like hey we got an appointment open to get your other two taken out and i'll be like because <laughs> i do not want them i do not need them and yeah just wanted to give y'all an experience of how wisdom teeth actually goes true raw experience i didn't record it in there because i thought i was gonna go in this, under anesthesia but i didn't i was just perfectly fine through it all like i didn't have any complications or anything like you see me talking right now um i believe I, my face was kind of still like feeling big um for like two to three days but like i didn't like it wasn't too bad like it didn't i didn't have trouble talking i drank water just through like like that like without a straw just regularly but yeah and that's it for you guys so um stay tuned for more story times like this is not the only story time this is just the first and i just wanted to explain my experience to you all but like all youtubers say like comment share and subscribe and we'll be back with more videos hey why do i keep saying we it's me myself and i this is my channel malia angelique like what am i doing <laughs> but um yeah i will be back with more videos hey <laughs>